Welcome everyone. This is Iowa Live and I feel like a kid in the candy store being able to wear my old Tommy Bahama shirts here from summer and uh, kind of like a, a kid at the uh, New Horizon Academy and Janine is with us today. Janine, how are you doing? Hi, good Terry. How are you? It is so good to see you. You're in the Johnson location today. Tell us a little bit about New Horizon and then I know you've got some kids crafts that we're going to talk about today. Yeah, we're going to talk about giving today, and that is important to New Horizon Academy as a company. We like to give back to our community and to those people in need. Um, I am at the Johnston location. We're at Northwest 86th and 62nd in Johnston. Great location, and um, we take kids anywhere from starting at six weeks all the way through the end of fourth grade. So um, we also have two other locations in Des Moines, one at uh, 90th and University in West Des Moines, and then our downtown location at Southwest 9th and Murphy, right over the bridge um, from the Des Moines Social Club. And then we have our new and exciting location down in Pella. So lots happening at New Horizon Academy. Uh, you have kind of state-of-the-art learning environment, and this is different. This isn't just preschool. You go all the way up to what, fourth grade? Is that right? We do. We do before and after school and our summer program for kids who are in kindergarten through fourth grade. And that program is all about learning and not really knowing you're learning. So uh, having a really good time with lots of hands on activities that um, are focused on for kids that age and um, giving them the opportunity to chill and relax, do homework after school, whatever they need to do, but also playing games and just just uh, basically a club like atmosphere. All all right, well, let's talk about those crafts you got in front. This will be for the, for the parents and grandparents who want to do some things with their grandkids or kids. Show us what you got going. Absolutely. And, you know, as a grandparent myself, I love to get things that, that kids make, whether it was my own kids or um, my little grandson will make for me. But these are really nice for teacher gifts, as well as even just those friends in the neighborhood, whatever it might be. So the first thing we have are our do-it-yourself lavender bath salts. And this is a really easy um, thing to do. Everything you can find at the grocery store. So it's a cup of Epsom salt a cup of pink um, fine grain uh, Himalayan salt, which adds a really pretty color um, to your to your package, your final package. Uh, it is some baking soda and some lavender. Um, these are lavender uh, essential oils and you mix it all together. One of the great things about these projects, Terry, is that you're teaching the kids about not only giving, but measuring and what is Himalayan pink salt? Why do we use it? What's Epsom salt? So there's always a great opportunity for learning well beyond just putting something in a jar and giving it to somebody. So we're gonna mix all that up together and we're just gonna put it in a little jar. We have these really pretty tags that you can print from our website. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have our kids make just a cute little, um, a little top. And that's very simple. You just take the top of the jar, you trace around it on some paper, cut it out and then let them decorate it with markers and then just glue it or tape it on the lid. So that's one fun, fun activity. This is great for a last minute teacher gift. Um, if you're looking for something like that, you're like, oh my gosh, it's almost Christmas and we've got to get this done. That's a really great opportunity. And then the other thing we have is do it yourself hot cocoa. So it's two cups of confectioner's sugar. And one of the fun, fun things about confectioner's sugar is we can use a sift. Um, so you're going to sift it through the sifter. And of course, we're going to measure that. I just didn't. But how fun is that for kids to kind of watch and um, look at it and see why we're doing that? It makes the sugar thinner. So lots, lots of things that we can learn from that as well. One cup of unsweetened cocoa powder that we're going to measure into our mixing bowl. And we're going to do two cups of powdered milk. You can talk about what powdered milk is. And so you mix this all together. And are, are all these recipes on your website, Janine? They sure are. And then the fun thing about that is you can get these cute little mini mini muffins. How fun. And put them in the car. Oh. And then um, make a tag again. Well, let's and mention the uh, website, if we can, where all of this is. NewHorizonsAcademy.net. And you can find yep. all of these recipes. And so you can take a bath and have a hot cup of cocoa, right? That's right. Tomorrow <laughs> when it's cool again. <laughs> it's so fun. Janine, thank you so much. New Horizons Academy, a great place. We appreciate you being here with us and uh, helping us in this uh, kind of windy day as it's coming up. Thanks, Janine.